Is that a Hattori Hanzo sword? Hey! What's up, my people? Zemgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Legacy Evolution Voyager class, Bludgeon! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here. We got Bludgeon looking all bludgeony. He is Comic Universe Bludgeon Legacy Evolution. He is a Voyager class, class Voyager, World Class A, Class of Head on a Class A Voyager Transformers. On this side of the box, we have the lovely Legacy artwork. On this side we have bludgeon. We have more of the bludgeoning. Up top, Legacy Evolution. QR code. You want to scan it? Go ahead, free scan on me. You're welcome. On the bottom, words, things, barcodes on the back of the box. You have your obligatory product shots, your Evo Fusion, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Bludgeon, and he is, as you can see, a recolor, slight remold of Tarn, but here he is in his robot mode. He is packed in robot mode, so let's get in close here so we can take a look at that bludgeoning crotch, but at that bludgeoning noggin, there's the bludgeoning noggin. Now, head sculpt wise, very nice looking head sculpt, in my opinion. You got the nice silver there. there you got the eyes. Done in orange there. You got some bits of silver on the helmet. So head sculpt wise, I think it looks quite good. Uh, the rest of his body is just Tarn's body, just with different coloration. Still looks pretty good. You got some silver, some gunmetal grays in there. And everything done in the bludgeon color palette. And move up the back. Got the bludgeoning booty. A real backpack there, you got the little cannons hanging up top, but yeah. Everything we're seeing with Tarn, we got the double cannons there on the side. And these are done completely in trans clear and orange plastic and then painted over. But they do look quite good, but yeah. I mean, it's 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 Tarn, just with a different head. Now, articulation-wise, what have we got? Well, uh, the head is on a ball joint. You do get some wiggly waggly. He can look up. Dude, squirrel can look down a bit. Head can rotate. You have to kind of clear some stuff, but it can do a full 360 if you move it around just right. Arms can do a full 360. They can move in and out. You also have inward movement there. That's more for transformation, but hey, a thing that moves if you need it to move. You got rotation right above the elbow. You have over 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. You got wrist rotation. The hands open and close. You got wrist rotation, the legs can move forward that far, can move back that far, outward, you got that far, you got thigh rotation, you have over 90 degrees of bend there at the knee, but you do have a second joint here that's meant more for transformation, but still you can use it and it gives you a double joint to knee, so you have full range of movement there at the knee if you want to, just make sure you pop that back into place. As far as the feet go, they can move up, they can move down, and you have some ankle tiltage. Now, as far as accessories go, of course, you get the double cannons there that are on his arm, but you do also get a new sword. which is done in brown with the blade itself painted in silver. I do quite like the design of the sword, personally. I think that looks pretty cool. Now, there are some things we can do. We can store it on his back if you want to. Just use that port right there. You can store it across his back. Um, also, if you want to, if you don't want to have the cannons on his arm, you can totally just plug this onto his back. Have that going on, and you can still plug the sword back here. You can still have everything stored on his back if you want to. And again, if you want to differentiate him a bit from Tarn, you can just have those cannons back there, have them rotated up, sticking up over his head. Of course, as always, it is yours. Display it however you wish. But hey, things you can do if you want to do it. But of course, you can plug the sword into his hand. We'll put this back on his arm. You know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Because we gotta do it properly, right? We have to. We have to. We have to. Of course we do. We can plug this into his arm so we can pew pew, poke poke, pew pew, stab stab, and all of that good stuff right now. And of course, as we know, the cannons are bluish compatible. Yes, they are bluish compatible. Blah. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they really, really are. So we can plug one in here. You can plug one in here. It's going to be a little cramped for space, but you know what? We can still do it. You know, hold it up. Hold it up, man. Hold it up. Hold, hold. You know, seriously, dude. Seriously. Seriously. You know what else we can do? 
we got some some blush compatibility up here as well we can plug these up here we can just have you know i can just blushes all over the place there we go they don't all match but hey blushing blushing nonetheless and we can do a big old bludgeoning Blush. hey why not why not so there you have that, and now for Comparus Hunt. Here he is with the Megs. Guess you can see how that works out. And here he is with Tarn. So you can see how that works out. And again, it's the exact same figure. The only difference is just the coloration and the heads. Other than that, it is the same thing. Let's give you the turnaround there. You can see who's who, where's what, when's why, and why is how. But yeah, again, same figure, just different colors and a different head. And of course, another thing we can do here is the Evo Fusion. Yes, that's right. And that's the same Evo Fusion that we got with Darn. Obviously, it's instead of the same mold, but you just plug the two cannons together like so. And now you have a big old super mega cannon. Again, things you can do if you want to do them. So that is basically it for the robot mode. And honestly, I think Bludgeon wears this mold well. I think it works for him. Not bad, not bad. Of course, obviously would have liked a completely new mold, but if he's going to be a, a, a repaint, I think, I think this body actually works out pretty well for him. But let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. Now, transformation-wise, it's exactly the same as Tarn. You're going to come back here, take these barrels, and just bring them down. There are little tabs there that they'll just tab onto. And you just take this whole back section, bring it back, rotate it 180. Just kind of angle that back like so. Uh, once that is done, just raise his arms up, untab the chest here. And then pull these shoulder pieces out. Kind of angle these back. Angle them back. And then you want to take the head and push this all the way back. There is a bit of a clearance issue because these uh, these bits around his helmet are a little bigger than the space they're going into. I mean, they just fit. But you have to kind of like push his head down in there. And then you can bring this bit up like that. And then just rotate this entire assembly. The rest of the way down you can tab the legs together and just point the toes down you want to bend the knees and now we can work on the arms so what you're doing with the arms is you're going to rotate the forearm in at the bicep the screen panel here you're going to flip around to the other side take the fist and flip that in and then this will just angle in and there's a tab slot connection right here for the forearm so just line all that up and tab it in like that second verse guess what just like the first so rotate that in flip this around to the other side rotate the hand in and just angle all of that in and tab it in like so you can take this section here just bring that back and that will peg in like that now for the legs you have this second hinge here now i just bring the legs all the way down to engage them because they kind of have to be like unthooped so i just unthoop them by just bringing them down and once you have them unthooped you can then kind of maneuver all this around because what's going to happen here is you have tabs that will go right up in here into this slot and you also have a tab right here that'll go into uh this slot right here in the foot so okay so just line everything up if you have it lined up just right it should just drop into place it's actually the easiest time i've had doing that because you do have to do that kind of blind so <laughs> as the first time that's just dropped right into place yay okay so now we can take this panel here open that up take the tread section and swing it in like so and then just close that back up second verse guess what you know what it is just like the first bring that down take this swing that in close that up like so oops that came untabbed you stay in your home you will stay in your home there you go that's where you live that's where you live forever there we go we got that and the cherry on top is when we bring in the cannons this gray section here you just rotate around and these two tabs will go into these two slots right up here so just tab it in tab it in 
And there you go. There you have Bludgeon in his alt mode. Get back here. Yeah, back here. But there he is in his alt mode. And um, yeah, it's 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 Tarn's alt mode. But you know what? Again, it works. I think it still works in the bludgeon colors. I can work with it. I can work with it. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. And again, you know, pretty much everything we've already seen with Tarn, just in different colors, but still worth taking a closer look at. Admiring all those details. You got the sides here of the treads done in a nice gunmetal gray. Well, my only complaints about the alt mode is I wish the hands tucked in and I wish these panels folded down. These little knee bits folded down. That would have been great, but oh well. It is what it is. But there is the top, there is the bottom. He does not have any rolling wheels for some reason. I always thought this was a weird choice, but he has like little faux, little faux wheels here. I guess it's just to keep it... I guess the purpose of these is just to keep it off of the surface, so if you want to slide them around, you won't scratch up anything, so that'll take the abuse and not the figure itself. Makes sense, but some little rolling wheels would have been nice as well. But hey, he can slide as murder tanks slide. Hooray for sliding murder tanks. And for comparison, here he is with the Megs. And here he is with... Tarn! And again, as far as the alt mode goes, the only difference is just in the coloration. Other than that, it's the same alt mode. So, keep that turn around there. There you go. They're turning. They're turning. And they have turned. Now, uh, articulation-wise in tank mode, uh, this top turret here can rotate if you want to. Even these cannons up front, you can kind of spread them out do what you want there as far as the weapons go yes you can store his sword now officially in the instructions i have you plugging it in right here along the side and the uh, obligatory product shots they actually have it plugged in down here that's a thing you can do also if you want to do it me personally i actually like it right up top i think for bludgeon this is what he would do. Just have it right up top there like that. Hey, but as always, it's yours. Display it however you wish. And of course, if you want, you can totally blush it out. Just get all kinds of blushiness going. Get those blushes there. Get these blushes here. You know, get in there. Get in there, blush. Get in there, you know. Kind of rotate these up also. Ah, ah, and then everything comes apart because reasons. Oh no, oh no, it's all going bad. It's all going so bad. But you know what I mean. Blushes, you can do, you can pack them in. Pack them in with blushes. Pack all the blushes all up in there. Get all up in those blushes. There you go. Blushing. Ah. So there you have Bludgeon, and um, yeah, you know, it, there's not much to say. If you like the Tarn Mold, then you're probably going to like this. If you don't like the Tarn Mold, then you're probably not going to like this. <laughs> but, uh, you know, unless you have some personal affinity towards Bludgeon, then that's a whole different story. But overall, as I said earlier, I think Bludgeon wears this mold pretty well. I actually think it works pretty well for him. Again, would have liked a totally new mold for him, but if this is all we're getting, hey, I could work with it. And of course, I have the same nitpicks with the alt mode. I wish the hands tucked in. I wish those little knee panels flipped down. But you know, other than that, it's a solid mold. It's a solid figure. And I'm always happy to add some more Mr. Skullheads to my collection. So there you go. Now, I picked this up from Robot Kingdom, but you can also get legacy figures from BigBadToyStore.com. As always, linked in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the legacy playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, X, whatever, <laughs> all that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Legacy Evolution Voyager Class Bludgeon, and this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Bomb in your face. Ah, bludgeon. I've heard a lot about you. I can use a warrior like you in my ranks. Ah! You listen to me and you listen good. I'm in charge now. No, um, uh, see, that's not exactly how that works. Listen to me. I'm in charge now. You understand me? Uh, 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 okay. Good.
you know, if you want to breed an environment of trust and respect, it would be best if you were, you know, a little nicer. Guys, you listen to me, burrito boy. I will chop you up into little bite-sized pieces if you defy me. Are we clear? Crystal. Good. So that's what that feels like.